harrowing theater of the Russian-Ukraine conflict, a new player has emerged, casting a shadow of fear and uncertainty over the surrounded region. The skies above Ukraine have become a battleground, as reports of the deployment of Russia's S-70 Okotnik heavy stealth drone. With its stealth features and powerful armament, the S-70 Okotnik poses a new and formidable threat that could further escalate tensions in the region. But the question is, will this technological titan unleash an unparalleled reign of terror, shattering the delicate balance of the conflict? Or will it force a desperate reassessment of military strategies and alliances as the battle for supremacy intensifies? Join us as we navigate the extraordinary drone's capabilities and potential consequences it holds for the future of the conflict. The Russian military is making progress in the testing phase of the S-70 Hunter drones, renowned for their advanced stealth features. These drones are anticipated to achieve full operational capability by 2024, prompting concerns within the Pentagon. The development of the S-70 Okotnik holds substantial significance and value within the Russian defense industry. With two prototypes successfully produced, preparations for serial production are underway. However, it is important to recognize that the prolonged conflict in Ukraine and economic sanctions imposed on Russia by Western countries may disrupt the planned production schedule, originally set for 2024. Russian forces have allegedly utilized the S-70 Okotnik heavy attack drone and Su-57 stealth fighter aircraft in response to the conflict in Ukraine. This speculation is based on images of drones flying over Ukrainian territory, which have been disseminated by a Ukrainian telegram channel and reported on by Turkish media sources. The reported incidents indicate that the drones targeted military installations belonging to the Ukrainian armed forces in the Sumy region on June 27th. On that day, there were explosions in the Sumy and Kremenchuk areas of the Poltava region. A photograph, purportedly capturing one of the drones in flight over Ukraine, was shared on the MASH Telegram channel, aligning with the visual characteristics and dimensions of the Okotnik drone. The existence of at least two Okotnik drones undergoing test flights has been confirmed. In June 2022, RIA Novosti disclosed that the S-70B Okotnik successfully conducted its initial launch test, deploying air-to-surface missiles specifically designed for the manned Sukhoi Su-57 aircraft. How powerful is Russia's Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik? The S-70 Okotnik is a formidable stealth drone designed to carry a variety of air-to-surface missiles and bombs within its concealed body, minimizing its radar signature. Its unique design allows for covert operations without the need for external weapons pylons. The drone's blended wing-body horizontal configuration, reminiscent of the renowned B-2 bomber, further enhances its stealth capabilities and may provide additional capacity for heavier payloads. This sleek design free from protruding structures and sharp angles, significantly reduces its radar visibility, making it a challenging target for ground-based air defense systems. Russian officials have emphasized that the Okotnik can be controlled by a pilot operating the Su-57 fighter jet. Although the Su-57 and the S-70 drone have distinct features, their aerodynamic designs complement each other. During combat operations, the S-70 Okotnik can function independently, operate alongside other UCAV and coordinated groups, or serve as a loyal wingman to the Su-57 Felon. This strategic versatility amplifies its effectiveness and allows for dynamic mission execution. The Su-57 is specifically engineered to counter the stealth capabilities of U.S. aircraft such as the F-22 Raptor and F-35. Both the Su-57 and the Okotnik are intended to penetrate contested airspace undetected. While the Su-57 lacks the radio frequency stealth necessary for highly contested environments, it still possesses stealth characteristics that make it less advanced than its American counterparts. However, through the utilization of stealth technology and advanced sensor systems, the Su-57 can detect and engage two U.S. stealth fighter jets. In contrast, 
the Okotnik exhibits exceptional characteristics. Weighing between 20 to 25 tons, it possesses the capability to carry a substantial weapons payload. With the ability to penetrate contested airspace without detection, the Okotnik is designed to engage critical enemy targets effectively. However, the drone does not possess self-defense capabilities against manned enemy fighters. Nevertheless, when employed in tandem, the Su-57 and Okotnik can serve as a versatile and potent force in carrying out attack missions. According to Russian sources, the S-70 Okotnik is equipped with missiles similar to those used by the Su-57 Felon, including the Kh-38M and Kh-59 Mk-2. The Kh-38M is an air-to-surface missile with a two-stage solid rocket motor, offering an operational range of 25 miles. On the other hand, the Kh-59 Mk-2 is a TV-guided cruise missile powered by a single turbofan engine, providing a maximum operational range of up to 180 miles. The inclusion of these long-range missiles enables the S-70 Okotnik to engage targets without the need to launch them from Ukrainian airspace. While it is not impossible to test the drone's capabilities by penetrating Ukrainian airspace directly, its ability to carry these missiles expands its operational flexibility. Russia is gearing up for mass production of the S-70 Okotnik stealth combat drone following its successful test flight in 2021. President Vladimir Putin has called for production to begin in 2023 with delivery to the Ministry of Defense. The Okotnik distinguishes itself with unique ground management systems, a standard flat nozzle propulsion system, and low radar visibility or stealth capabilities. Deliveries to Russian forces are slated to start in 2024. The drone is expected to significantly enhance Russia's military capabilities and function as a true low observable combat aircraft. It is being demonstrated alongside the Su-57 fighter jet, and Russia aims to leverage the prototype's experience to achieve long flight endurance and a substantial combat payload. Deputy Minister of Defense Alexei Kriveruchko suggests that the Okotnik's technology will influence the development of new manned and unmanned aircraft systems, potentially impacting strategic bombers. The Russian S-70 Hunter drone has generated numerous inquiries and considerations. A crucial focus lies in assessing its advanced stealth capabilities, specifically in thermal management, heat reduction, and the effectiveness of its stealth coatings and exhaust management. Another significant aspect is the development of AI capabilities, which would greatly enhance the drone's ability to process sensor data, target information, and collaborate with both unmanned and manned systems. The integration of AI minimizes latency, optimizes attack strategies, and enables networked operations across broader and more formidable formations. Concerns persist regarding the functionality and resilience of integrated AI data analysis systems, as well as the effectiveness of manned-unmanned teaming networks. Questions also arise about Russia's production capacity for the Su-57 and the new drone casting doubt on their ability to swiftly manufacture a substantial quantity of these advanced systems. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.